Hi traders, I would like to share my live trading with you today. Now the first one today is MRNA and I'm not going short, I'm going long. It may come as a surprise but I'm clicking the button right here and going long 4,000 shares. And why does it look like a surprise? Because you don't usually see me doing stuff like that. I usually would go short a stock that is coming down with such a downside momentum but not today. I'm fast forwarding so you understand what's going on. Well initially my stop was under 116 like a one point stop loss and my target was supposed to be one point target but you will see that things have changed a little bit and uh, it is trending higher it is coming down it wasn't that far from uh, uh, getting me uh, uh, under my stop loss which was 116 but right here it reversed and now that it's proving to me that it wants to continue higher and again over my entry I'm about to add another 2000 shares you never add to a loser you add to a winner you don't average down your losses you add to your winners and look at the way it Look, moves higher I'm about to add adding now so you also want to expect a new high look at the recent high look at the new high which is about to come just moved over again I added to a winner a winning trade so the stock is now moving higher and I did notice that you know since I went through a pullback that it's likely to move higher you know when you go through a pullback you should usually be rewarded and now I'm going for the two to one to two risk reward which is about now just took my partial so I was initially looking for a one point target but since it proved to me that it reversed and moved higher that it could continue then I decided that I should wait a little bit more so that was a very nice $10,000 winner now again I'm fast forwarding because you can see that it really did continue higher quite nicely and I'm about to sell another 300 shares of my 400 shares because it feels like it's a bit extended just sold so you see you keep some small size riding you put the risk behind you are no longer at risk but you let it go now my last 100 shares I'm about to sell them selling right now because at that point it looks to me like <laughs> it just did more than I much more than I expected it should pull back and now look at the pullback sometimes I'm more proud at my uh, the point where I sell than at the point where I take my partial so that was a perfect point to get rid of my last 100 shares now I still owe you some explanation about what happened on the daily we'll take a look at that very soon but until then if you did like this video please give us a thumb up the button is right here below and uh, I appreciate that because it helps our channel helps uh, the YouTube algorithm show this video to more traders around the world the more we are the more successful we are all of us as traders so let's now take a look at some of my other trades today JD was my next trade the stock is strong today but it looks to me like it's going to trend lower well it is trending lower from the highs so I'm about to short 4,000 shares my target is approximately 50 cents shorting now that's also my stop loss again I'm working on a one-to-one -one risk reward now I'm fast forwarding so you can see what happened uh, it is uh, continuing to trend lower I do have my stop I am ready to move out if it goes wrong but again it was kind of an intraday I would say boring trade I was waiting for a new law and it just moved to a new law gave me a little bit more than I expected and I'm about to take my partial every second now now well it came down it just continued the trend lower and I thought it's going to continue and I had my partial that's it very normal trade now let's take a look at uh, MVIS MVIS is kind of interesting it was just posted in the trading room because uh, one of our traders saw that it's coming down and looking good and um, you, you see the stock is down 22 almost 22 percent now let's see the daily of MVIS you see that's what interesting about it stock started at two dollars recently and moved up almost to ten dollars and usually stocks like that would go back to zero so I'm looking for an opportunity to short it the lows is 705 and I'm thinking that if it's going to come down under 710 then it's likely to break down under the low so I'm looking for the 710 watch the buyers watch the sellers buyers right now at 713 and uh, moving down sellers at 713 now 711 about to short now clicking the button I'm short so I just moved under 710 expecting it to move under the lows and again you always expect to move under the lows you don't short before uh, after it moves to a new low so 
It did move to a new low and now comes the breakdown. The breakdown was really the $7 whole number, but that would have been a little bit too late. So it just spiked down very nicely. I'm about to take my partial here. Just $2,900 took my partial and uh, that's it. I mean, that was a rather simple trade for a stock that looks great on the daily. Now here's my results. As you can see, I'm up $14,000 and um, that was a very good day for me with uh, three winners and uh, no losers. And I do owe you an explanation about mRNA, which was my best trade today. Here's the daily. Now you see mRNA came down from the highs quite a bit. Look at this day right now where we are. First, look at the momentum of uh, the way it came down. There were several points where you could go short mRNA. Now, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about today. You could think, well, it could have some kind of a downside momentum today. But in my opinion, when the daily is so extended to the downside, it's likely to pull back. And now I anticipated this uh, bottoming tail that you're seeing here before it actually happened. That's the whole idea of trading. You, you ex anticipate the next move. You don't go after you see the next move. So I anticipated it's going to have a bottoming tail. I anticipated that it's a little bit too extended to the downside and that it should pull back up. And instead of going short, and you, you if, if you watch the daily again, the intraday again, you could see that it went down quite a bit today. Instead of going short, which in my opinion was, was too dangerous because of the daily, because it looked to me like the daily is too extended, I was waiting for a long opportunity. And once I saw the long opportunity, and I also saw that it's going my way, and I had a chance to add to that uh, winning trade, again, add to a winner always, then, well, that's what I did. And uh, it went up uh, nicely. And the end result was uh, absolutely amazing. So mRNA, my best trade today. Now, tra traders, I want to thank you for watching this video. And, you know, if you want to see more of this day trading content, Please make sure that you subscribe and also turn the notification bell. It's right over here. You will be notified of my future uploads. Now, if you do want to trade with me daily because I trade every day or maybe just read my book or get any of our free resources, you'll find a lot of links right here below uh, which you can use. So um, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to thumb up to help our channel. And uh, just have a Merry Christmas, enjoy uh, your holidays, and I'll see you here next week.